how and why Jesse Dominguez came to be in the middle of traffic on the 105 freeway November 19th is unclear, even to those closest to him. I love you. I love you. But this much they feel sure about. Bam, bam, bang. Seven times. He didn't deserve to die that way. Attorneys and family of Dominguez had a press conference Tuesday announcing the precursor to a lawsuit against CHP and calling for criminal charges against the officer who shot Dominguez. But he was shot seven times when he was on the ground. He was not an imminent threat to this officer at any time. CHP sees it differently. In a statement, they said their officer tried to talk Dominguez off the freeway, but there was a struggle. They said the 34-year-old had a taser and used it against the officer. According to CHP, the officer feared for his safety and shot and killed Dominguez. We need to know what was leading up to that point. Why did the officer go hands-on initially, and, and why did he not just back away? Attorney for Dominguez's family says he did own a stun gun, but said they have no indication he had the stun gun or a taser with him on the freeway. Where is your version? Where is your proof? We're asking for that now. Dominguez worked as a server and loved to sing according to his family. They say he was also bipolar and struggled with anxiety and depression. His family suspects the Silmar man was having a mental health crisis that day on the freeway. But they tell us he was anything but violent. We've all had hurdles and nobody's perfect, you know, and that's, that's kind of, those were some of the tough times that he's endured in his life. Attorneys for Dominguez have begun the process of suing CHP and the state of California, filing a claim saying CHP does not properly train their officers and saying the officer did not take into account human life and was not justified in shooting Dominguez. In South Pasadena, Karma Dickerson, NBC4 News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.